in the world. And those are all probably worth about five grand. Yeah. So, but what you and I think is pristine is probably what's called out of a 10 scale is probably like an eight. Mm -hmm. And same cards, maybe $100. Mm -hmm. You know, which is still nice money for something. Yeah, it's still a job. But it's not what you think it is. <laughs> right. When his card was hot on the market back in the late 80s, it was going for a little over 100. So, but I ended up, I mean, when before Archer made the majors, I gobbled up all of his stuff. Uh -huh. The rare stuff, too. Yeah. And I've sold all that. Yeah. Um, and then about three years ago, I did this auction where you would buy one player and they had 50 cases. And I, whatever I could get cheap, for like five bucks, I bought like four or five players. Well, this one player I really liked, and he had just gotten out of the University of Washington. And, I mean, it was just fate that I got his cheap. But after doing some research on the kid, never hit less than 300 in um, his, his um, not only high school, but also college. Uh -huh. And also his first year in the minor leagues in two different levels, he hit over 300 as well. So I decided, what the heck, I'll gobble up all of this kid too. So starting through basement for the Diamondbacks, which he uh, was leading like rookies yeah. this year for uh, home runs. He had like 20 at the All-Star break or something. Yeah. But I sold all of him off last year when he came up. You know, So what I would pay five bucks for, I was selling for 50. Well, one guy bought 25 of my cards, graded them all, and he's selling them all now for 500. Oh, jeez. You know? So it's all about how long you want to sit on it and wait on it. And of course, more importantly, is the guy's lucky enough to actually become something. Same thing for the other kids who play against the pitchers, but don't ever buy a pitcher's card. Yeah. If they just don't, they only play once every five days, so it's yeah. not worth it. <coughs> and the only one that has anything right now is uh, shoot the kid. It's with the Pirates organization. I can't remember his name for some dumb reason. perspective about the eight oh. is about a year ago two young guys were in a abandoned like office building in Detroit okay. and they literally found millions of cards from the uh, early 90s that they that some company which had speculated and bought them ahead of time just left them off oh. And the pictures are insane. Cases upon cases. I mean, it literally probably filled up this entire press box wow. of cards that they just speculated bought the cases, never opened them out of the box. Because when I was getting out of the hobby, that's when we were buying the cases, and that became a big thing. Yeah. It wasn't going to the store and buying a pack or something like that. It was literally yeah. buying cases and storing yeah. This guy's got about 100 or so. Just and Everybody did it, and those cards aren't worth the paper they're printing on. Right. Is 
this move. only six episodes. I got two left, but it's about um, East Mississippi Community College, yeah, which is one of the top JUCO programs. Yep. And uh, just get your juices Come flowing. Come on, guys. Just get your juices flowing. Watching these kids. Two of the kids actually. Um, it was from last season, 2015. But two of the kids went to Nichols. Oh yeah. So they'll be on their team this year. Cool. One of the stars of the show, if you will. It shows the hard luck life of all these recruits. Some have screwed up and it's their last chance. Yeah, so. I mean, what's, what's interesting is they have one kid that came from Florida State that um, had some issues, but when they, that Notre Dame guy, who was that, Golson? Yeah, that, that. When he came, um, when Golson came in, this kid just decided to leave the program at Florida State, and he hooked onto this DC or EMCC. Yeah, East Coast. Yeah, yeah. East, yeah. And um, did not start an entire game the whole year. It was a local kid that was the QB. It was okay, you know. He's basically retired from the game now. But never started the game. Got to play the first half of, most of the first half of apparently the last game. And had six touchdowns, and Auburn signed him right away. How about that? <laughs> Even though he didn't start a damn game the whole year. Hurt me with this one. That on the hip. 